We will now elect speaker of the transcript. Would anybody wish to nominate themselves or another party? Good morning. I would like to nominate myself, Levi James Stankowitz Armstrong, for the role of speaker of the transcript. Boo! 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 As my dear friend and colleague Andreas Auer described me, a true leader who walks with the past and knows what he's doing. And I will use that system in this very legendary chamber. I am an effective leader, and I know what I'm doing. Thank you. I would like to nominate myself, Noel Bizanski, as speaker of the transcript, because I am the true authoritarian, and we need more women in politics. Hooray! 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 We will now vote. Cast your ballot for Mr. Armstrong or Ms. Buzanski. Listen to this because of the January 6th yeah. thing that you were involved in. <sighs> Listen, Nothing disqualified you. The courts are out on that. We're still, we're, we're still in session. According to the votes, Ms. Buzanski is elected speaker of the transcript. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Stolen election! <laughs> this is taking it to the streets. Last week, the American legislative branch was put on a halt due to the disagreements within the Republican Party. After 15 votes, former House Majority Leader Kevin McCarthy has been elected Speaker of the House. However, it was a stressful three days, as a growing amount of conservative House members didn't think that Representative McCarthy is the right person to lead Congress. Meanwhile, the Democrats have routinely nominated House Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries. This week, we hit the streets of downtown Northampton to interview people about their thoughts on the Speaker of the House. What were your thoughts on all the chaos? electing a speaker of the house I mean to be honest it was pretty entertaining I like, don't really like Kevin McCarthy very much so it was kind of funny to just watch him lose so were you con again. were you concerned at all for like Congress not being in session or anything like that like Congress not being able to function yeah. because it was just chaotic yeah. yeah I mean I don't think we're gonna see much out of this Congress um, with the split house and Senate and presidency so I didn't see it to be more obstructionist than I imagine this entire session's gonna be so this is the first time in a hundred years it's taken more than one vote to elect a speaker of the house why do you think that is um, I think we have a big divide in this country and especially with the with the Republican Party a lot of people aren't on the same base and um, I think this what what just transpired within the last w week or two goes to show you how divided this country is and so I think it was time for a change but a lot of times people are afraid to make change because they're afraid of the backlash that will happen. So with the kind of chaotic beginning to this session of Congress do you think the rest of this Congress is going to be kind of hectic? Um, I think the issue currently is that it's difficult to imagine it not being chaotic with the current structure of, of the political spectrum, right? So the minority caucus that did cause such a stir, like, they're not going away. And in fact, they're probably going to get their, their committee positions back. So I struggle to imagine that we're not going to do the exact same thing over again where they lose their committee seats again because they caused the same amount of trouble that they did last time. Some of the other Republicans who received votes for Speaker of the House include Representative Jim Jordan, Rep Brian Donalds, and even former President Donald Trump. Thanks for watching. See you next week.